Hey, in this video we're going to discuss the usage of font awesome icons. Now, you may wonder why you'd want to use font awesome icons. Well, font awesome icons are found in the insert tab in the middle of the ribbon toolbar and it's right here, font awesome icons. If you click on that, you'll see a large array of icons here. Now, to you, they may look like images, but actually, these are font objects. Now, the advantage of using these is that uh, they load faster. Images take a lot of weight on your website page, so you want to use images sparingly, and uh, whenever possible, um, you need to uh, get away from that and, and use font, and font awesome icons are just that. They're viewed by code as being font, so they load much, much faster. Now, as I scroll through these, I scroll down to the bottom of, of the selection, and you'll see hundreds of them here. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom of them, you'll see a lot of social media icons that can be used. Uh, there's uh, uh, Facebook right here. Um, I think this is Snapchat, is that correct? Snapchat there. Uh, there's some YouTube down here, Yahoo YouTube. Um, don't get me started on, on, don't get me started on all the social media sites, but uh, uh, you'll recognize them. There's a Twitter there. Uh, oh, there's Snapchat, I think, right there, that little, these two right here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but there's also some um, navigation menus so to speak uh, uh, arrows icons as far as uh, videos and next page up page down page uh, boy, credit card uh, icons here like I say you can scroll through these uh, some you know obviously file types gender transportation yeah, I, I can read through all these headings for you, but uh, there are some really cool ones here to use. So let's just grab one. And I'll show you what it what it what it means. So let's just use this as an email here. So we'll grab that one, and we'll pull it out here. I made that fairly large, but this is an object like any other object, although it's a font, but it acts like an object. So we can right click it, go into the object properties and we can actually do several things. We can actually make this a link, like this is an envelope, okay? Obviously, we can actually, like in a previous uh, video, we can go ahead and turn this into an email link if we want. So if they click on this, it would open up a link in their, <coughs> excuse me, in their default uh, email browser. But as far as the, the style is concerned, we can change this. We can change the color, or the background rather, is uh, is right now as a transparent. We can change it to a solid color if we wanted to change that. We could change it to, let's say, this green. Click OK. See, we changed the background. So let's go back, right click, object properties. We'll change this back to a white. Actually, we'll change it back to transparent. We can actually change this to a hover color as well. Uh, let's click OK. Um, object properties, hover color. Oh, the background will change. Um, we don't want to do that. We want to change the icon itself, which is called envelope, which you can see right here. The color is this, I don't know. Um, dark blue I guess. Let's change the color just so we have some effect. We change that to this red, okay? Object properties go back in it. We have the icon as being the color red. The hover color though is going to be blue. So let's see how that looks if we preview it. We're going to F5 this. And there's our envelope icon. 
Let's move our cursor over it. Boom, changes to blue. Let's go back to WYSIWYG. Let's go back into the object properties. And like I said, we could change this to a link if we'd want. Put a background to it. We could put a border to it. Let's put a solid border. We'll use that green uh, or dark blue, whatever that is. Two pixel radius. Let's do a five pixel or five uh, pixel width of the border, a five pixel of the radius, and see what that looks like. Eh, all right. Well, I'm not impressed, but give you an idea of what you can do. Let's go back in here. We're gonna take this back to zero because I don't like that border. And once again, we do padding. Uh, we could do a box shadow. Um, black. Let's do this to a five and a five. Let's see what that looks like. Woof. Alright. Okay. Let's see what we got. Blur. Alright. Not impressed, but just to give you an idea of what you can do. It's my first time playing with this actual feature as well, so um, I'm just experimenting along with you. Um, but yeah, I'm not really impressed with this feature. But um, you can play with this and see, and see what you come up with. You may, you may come up with something that works for you. Uh, zero effect. Uh, nah. But once again, you can uh, move the. Oops, cancel. You can uh, move this however you want. You can grab the uh, lower left hand or lower right hand corner, reposition to your aspect ratio. Now these are pretty cool because these are like almost vector images so you can stretch these out pretty big and they're not going to pixelate. Uh, so you shouldn't have to worry about that too bad. Um, but uh, these, are, these are pretty good to use uh, in place of actual images because like I said these are classified as font the code is written as fonts, so everything will load extremely fast. And you can link them or just use them as side of uh, text and as visuals. But uh, I encourage you to check out Font Awesome Icons. Until the next video, we'll see you then. Thanks.